video, we are talking about power, right? We're talking about big block. We're talking about heavy transmissions. We are talking about heavy duty components in a small little car like this. And uh, that combination, my friend, is what we might call power. <laughs> It sounds so silly to talk about it, but look at this. We are talking about a car that probably came with uh, maybe back in this day, 375 horsepower, right? It was probably the max, and then there was some uh, Copo stuff that was out there as well. But this is 502 cubic inches, right? Versus the 427 you could have got in the Copo car or 396 from the factory. It is definitely, definitely a difference. I'm making a smile on my face because it's hard to keep the thing going straight if you get into it all the time. So I've heard, because I have not done that myself, but that's the, that's the word on the street about this particular car. Wrap it in Bolero red paint, white stripes that we're gonna talk about it that too as well and talk about the detail that makes some cars nicer than others and why some cars, believe it or not, may look pretty on the outside, but they're missing a lot of components. So let's get started on that. We'll start right now. All right, I want to spend a second talking about shortcuts for a second and what that might mean to uh, you when you're out there looking for cars. That's why I like to do the video here because you're going to get to see why uh, some cars are worth more than others. So let's talk about the front ends on RS cars. Like this RS uh, package that's on this car right here, you can buy that setup for not a lot of money. What costs a lot of money is to make it work properly, right? And this here has all the functioning components built into it. it costs thousands of dollars to add this system uh, uh, if it wasn't already on the car. This is all restored, rebuilt, all new parts are in there. Works just like it's supposed to, right? Second is uh, big brakes and big wheels and tires. You need those kinds of things when you're talking about adding big block power to this. Those tiny little tires that came from the factory look awesome, right? Red line tires, I'm a huge red line tire person, but they cannot withstand anything. They will be screaming the entire time you get into this car. This is set up like this. This also comes with two setups, all right? We have the lowering kit for the car, which you'll see in the photos, right? And here's the video of the car uh, in this raked end here with the traction bar still on it. Tell us what you want when you want. You're gonna get both anyway, and so this will be in the trunk of the car. You decide how you want it delivered to you. Lastly, I wanna talk about the paint because this is the biggest shortcut that people make, right? Is that they don't clear coat the stripes on top of here. Why do they don't do that? Because it's another entire process of painting the car, believe it or not, because clear coat paint is paint without pigment in it. Most people don't know that, right? And so when you feel the stripes on someone else's cars because they didn't spend the extra money to repaint the entire top of the car again and seal these stripes. The downfall of that is when you're washing and waxing the car over and over, right? These stripes right here start to tear and ends up looking ugly. This protects that from having happening and it's super, super nice. Now, lastly, let's talk about these LED lights that are super harsh on a car and how mirror finish it is. This is what we're gonna look at right now. When you say mirror finish, that paint right there is some good looking, seriously good looking paint. All right, so a big engine needs big air, right? We have a real deal steel cal induction hood so the air hits the windshield, comes nice right on the side of the, there, and then nice cold air comes and seals itself right into the air cleaner here. Important pieces you need to be looking at. All right, for instance, our power steering. This car has power steering, right? You wanna make sure you have that. This is a lot of car to be pushing around with a big engine with no power steering, it has that. My favorite part of the car, believe it or not, other than the 502, is this giant Be Cool radiator because I'm a freak about cars overheating. The last thing you wanna do is be going to a cruise somewhere, it's a hot summer day, right? And then you don't have enough radiator to keep this cool. This is definitely the right setup here. Nicely sealed in here, billet, dress up under the hood, giving you that pro touring look as well. Uh, and that is a monster motor wedged in there and looks really, really nice. All right, so a lot of times I'll get this, uh, that that's a great looking car, Tone, but a lot of times we don't know why it's a great looking car. Let me throw a couple things at you that maybe will stand out here and you'll say, oh yeah, oh yeah. We didn't talk about this has a front spoiler. The front spoiler is very nice. We accidentally mounted the tag in the wrong spot. It actually needs to be in the other holes of the tag and be up a little higher. We'll fix that, not a big deal. But rear spoiler, 
You got to have this. Have you ever seen a Camaro without a rear spoiler? It looks, it just doesn't look right. There's something wrong with it. And again, the stripes are painted correctly. They're painted underneath and then they're clear coated. You can't feel it. All new bezels, new chrome. All right. And then the people that do RS uh, front ends and don't finish the car, here's what they get. They don't get the RS backup lights down here where they're supposed to go. Right. We got a big exhaust coming out the back. You can see the 12 bolt hanging down there. All right. That's all detail stuff that's important that makes for a nice looking car as well as little things like this. For instance, different springs for whether a car has a spoiler on it or not. If this car didn't originally come with a spoiler, it would have the wrong springs in it and the trunk wouldn't stay up. Little small tidbit. This is splatter coat painted trunk in here in detail. It's got the correct mat in here. This is really nice, meaning not only could you go to a car show in this car, but you could also throw your cooler in, a couple chairs and things like that and actually enjoy the use of this car and go someplace. It's really kind of a nice feature. Uh, lastly, somebody did probably in the 60s use this as a, as a car to go to work once in a while and you could do the same with it. It would be awesome to do that, throw your uh, whatever it is you take to work in there and then wheel on down the road and how you doing. All right, let's jump inside. We're going to check out where you're going to spend most of your time. But before we do, I want you to hear something. Listen to this. That is a well-built, well-restored door, especially for a car with power window motors in it. All right, so what's it like to be in here? All new seats and seat foams and carpets and console, dashes restored, new headliner tilt steering wheel, power windows, right? Full gauge is here, tack in the dash as well, right? This is a cool setup. I might suggest maybe that we uh, put a stock style radio right here in the in here and hide a digital one right in the dash there. And that way you got a cool kind of old school whatever, or we put a digital one here, whatever you like. I say you upgrade that radio. Uh, but having the power windows, having the tilt wheel, having all these gauges, having an all new interior console, it just adds to a whole other experience. The car just fits nicely. You can go for dinner with a, another couple in here, take the kids for a cruise. It's just a game changing experience. I'm staying at my cool car trying to be cool for a second, right? All right, anyway, uh, I want to close up the video with, and run down some bullets. We've talked about a lot of stuff here, all right? So I did want you to know that the emblem package that we put on the car is all removable. No holes were drilled, okay? No, uh, nobody was harmed during this process. No animals were harmed. It does have a real RS package on it, so we have the, not only the front end, but the correct reverse lights as well. We have an amazing interior. The, the upgraded houndstooth interior, deluxe interior with uh, power windows and tilt wheel and all the nice accoutrements that come along with those kinds of things, full gauges and what have you, the wheel and tire package. Again, this is, a, this is an amazing car to start with and if you want to add a few small touches of your own, we could do that as well along the way. We can lower it, we can raise it, we can uh, delete the emblems, we could do a couple different things. It makes it your own and it makes it a great piece. Anyway, call us 301 816 one thousand will tell you all about the amazing drive of this car and the great sound it makes. If you don't mind, uh, like the video down there below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We're always putting out new stuff. If you don't mind, share it with your friends as well. Get the word out there. All right, and I'll see you on the test drive.